A raid is one of the most defensive and intrusive ways to place yourself in someone's life. To come to people's homes at night when they are most vulnerable in such a scary way. happens to someone who isn't the right target, they're left with that trauma, night after night and years after. It is a psychological strategy. The US knew that when they used it here in Afghanistan. For years I've gone on a quest to count the deaths from these night raids. This story is personal to me. My name is Lindsay. When I was two years old, a night raid in Nangaha province killed my sister and mother during the civil war. My father was killed later in fighting. adopted by a British family living in Pakistan. When I was 12 years old, I moved with them to Israel. When I was in my early 20s, I started looking into my biological family. I didn't know anything about them. I actually tried to hire investigators to help me look into it. They were totally uninterested to help. By that time, I had become a reporter in the UK. So I decided to go back to my homeland and investigate my past myself. But what I found in Afghanistan was bigger than anything I had imagined. A bridge that would tie past, present, and future. Hours ago, the last American troops left Afghanistan. The U.S.'s longest war is over. 20 years since it began on October 2001. Days after September 11th, the first CIA officers touched down in Afghanistan, targeting the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Over the past two decades, that strategy largely consisted of drone strikes, airstrikes and night raids. I was in Nangaha looking into my personal story when I met a widow named Mazala. She told me the story of how masked soldiers came to her home in the middle of the night and shot and killed her only two sons. I knew what it felt to live without knowing why your family had been killed that it is not possible to move on from the grief without answers. I felt this huge responsibility to look into what had happened to Mazala and others. I learned that the raid on her home was conducted by elite squadrons of Afghan special forces backed by the United States. They were known as the Zero Units. Ah! 
Over the last four years of the war, these units killed hundreds of civilians. They were overseen by the CIA, and their targets were selected using American intelligence. I spent more than three years investigating hundreds of night raid operations. I also spent six months trying to find soldiers from inside the unit to talk to. I really wanted to find out how they felt when civilians were killed in these operations. two Afghan soldiers who are called Basir and Hadi for their safety. They fought in this unit for years. Zamanu Mr. Bide, the Afghanistan is a free country to share the Nizami party. ما وایل چې زموږ غریب کورنۍ وو مور مې ناروغه وو ما پیسو ته اړتیا درلوده موږ اورېدلی چې دا قطع د سی آی اې مربوط دی او دوی ماشونه هم په دا لرو دي خپلی مور د خدمت په خاطر کوښښ کوي بلاخره د سفر دو قطعی تا راغلو کتلات راشی بی عملیات تر ترکی جی مشتر د خپل قماندان لخوا معلومات را کول کی جی مش جواز دا دا دو جازه لنو لا تیاتن و کم عملیات و تنزی لشتر دوالشتون امریکایان و این 2019، بسیر و هادی تول می آباد این نایت رید این لوگار پروفنس وین دی کلد فور ممبرز آف ای فاملی I'd later speak to the surviving grandfather and uncle. This was not the first time they had killed civilians, but it was this raid that felt like a turning point in their lives. داغه مسکه دی موږ وایي سره وایي د بوډی د شګیز دی وایي دا ونه کې د پټنس دی غبوک وایي نو سره فورته ونه سره دا وځي د باندې را وځي هم غټ کوم کوم منوار نور مکوې چې مکر ما زخمیان شهیدان هم سوي دي مخ اطلاعات غلط و پوجل شو کی یو طالب هم نو دا مرګونه زموږ د لاس نه وشول
شیدانی ولی دل شیدانی ولی قواری طالبان سویدی وارد وارد ماشومانی. دیمون گفته است دختر نه قلبی تکلیف داری او یه تر تخت عصبی کار هم داری. تس افریق تو آداب داری چه وارستان کی توریسم ختم کری. دینو سیمه کی توریسم زاد کری. امریکان وای دوی ترتول غور تکنالوژی لری. دو بیا ولی دمیل کان و دخمان تا حبیر نشی که ولی دوی امریکایان دی افغانان وج نی. مجھے افغانان یو افغانان وجنو you are looking at is Taliban fighters inside the presidential palace. I felt so helpless when the Taliban took control of the country again. After everything I've seen in the last four years, I wonder why the US has never been held accountable for the damage they leave behind. Everyone in Afghanistan has a shared pain about what these raids have left behind, whether that's the families or the soldiers conducting them. Night raids failed in Vietnam, Iraq, and now Afghanistan. Who will suffer when America uses the same failed tactic in their next war? I didn't finish finding all my answers. That's true. But I did get some closure through Basir, strangely enough. His remorse helped loosen something in me. Although he didn't kill my family, he is a perpetrator. If Basir was brave enough to speak about the pain he had caused, I could also share my own story and talk about the pain I had buried. I could also start healing.